Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and helping us feed a hungry hippo. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Today we are doing part two of this week's Thread Up unboxing. If you didn't watch part one, I'll have it pop up at the end for you or you can go back and watch that first. In that video, I did a little more talking about how we prepare our worth run up boxes, how I sort through them, how much I paid for them. This is a 50 pound box. It was $50.99 all in. We're just jumping in here. If you want all of the extra goody information, you got to go back and watch part one because we're just going to jump in here. So Keith did wash and dry all 50 pounds of this thread up call, the thread up delivery. And it came up to my office in two separate boxes. And that's how I determined where I was going to split the videos. So in the first box he brought me, we had 19 bread and butter pairs, three poops, and four money money brands. So that is good news there. And we didn't have anything that was beyond being able to resell. So unless it's like completely damaged and I can't sell it, even if it's poop, if I bought a bulk lot, I'm going to pinch every penny I can out of it. But let's get started with what's in here and continue counting. Morona. Poop. But this is a pretty cool button-up chambray denim shirt. I'm sure we can get like a 18 to 24. It might even be a dress. It says it's a size small. Look how long it is. So it has pockets. It is a dress. You didn't know what women say. Thanks. It has pockets. But it does. Pockets. Okay. So that's going to be bread and butter. And not a poop. If it was Marona jeans, poop. But it's a different, it's shirt. Shirts are different, right? Speaking of being different, jeans are different too. Cantan is actually a brand I discovered by buying thread out boxes. And the full size jeans go for about 20 25 So I like the brand. It's decent, bread and butter. These cute little cut off denim, ripped, cupped shorts are definitely going to be bread and butter. I'm being attacked. This is, oh, these are maternity. This is the belly panel. Maternity, a pea in the pod. That's pretty bread and butter, like right in the middle of maternity brand. Um, it might even border on poop. I don't do a lot of maternity unless it comes to me in one of these boxes, but it does sell well. Seven for all mankind. Kimmy straight leg. So I start seven for all mankinds around $30. So we'll call it bread and butter. Um, my usual cutoff for money, money brands is like 30, 35, just depending. Um, $30. If I know it's, a, it's takes longer to sell, it's a bread and butter. If it's a $30 pair of jeans that I know will sell quickly, then it's a money, money. Everybody's, um, idea of what a bowler brand is different. I talked about that in the first video a little bit. It depends on your cost of goods and your business model. Um, so you can take what I teach you and what works for you and then just leave the rest. I'm not offended. If something I teach isn't for you, if you look at some of the stuff I sell and you're like, I don't want to do that bread and butter crap, don't do it. I'm just here to teach. And I want you to I want you to learn from me, but I want you to take what works for you because your business isn't my business. Your bills aren't my bills. So and everybody's different and everybody's um, needs are different and what they're willing to do for work is different. So. I'm not as done. Take what you want. Watch me for entertainment. <laughs> Don't learn anything. <laughs> it's all fun here. These are cute. I think we're going to look these up together because I think that Wallflower is a poop brand, but guys, they're bibs. They're full length 90s fashion. This is like something Jennifer Aniston would have worn in Friends, right? So cute. And you can legitimately on full length overalls like that. Don't claim that they're vintage 90s unless they are. So don't say vintage 90s, but you can say 90s fashion. It's 90s adjacent, right? Okay, we have Hudson. This is a bolo brand. If you wonder what I'm looking at, I'm looking at my jeans guide to see my starting prices. 
Incidentally, guys, my jeans guide was updated for 2024, and it is on sale through March 19th, 2024. So you should be watching this on Monday, the 18th. So you still have a day. You can get the jeans guide for only $17 or all three guides at half off. I'll grab the codes for you and tell you what they are. I am also getting massive dry throat and bow fry. Vocal fry, to make that clear what I said. So, Hudson jeans. I start at $40. And if you want the jeans guide for only $17, you can get it with code HIPPO, LUCK. Or you can get all three of our guides at half off for $30 for all three with code Lucky Hippos. Flippinhippos.com, go to the training guide tab, or just follow the link in the description box. And again, you know, I know people watch my videos years, years in the future. <laughs> and so I have to say March 19th, 2024 at midnight. I think it actually goes till three in the morning to be quite frank, Eastern time. You can use those codes. All right. We have a pair of Zara. I call them bread and butter. I have friends who will still swear that Zara is a money brand. I just don't see it when I comp it. I'm not getting that high of prices, and they take forever to sell. It used to be a good brand. Hey, Star, did we almost get through a whole video without you talking about the race to the bottom? We almost did. Don't do it. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Don't do it. Kirkland. Isn't that... Why does Kirkland make me think these are Sam's Club? Isn't Kirkland their food? <laughs> I'm going to look these up. We're going to look them up together. We're going to learn today. These are Pilcro. Oh, hello, Pilcro in the letterpress. This is an anth anthropology brand. Crow. Let me see. Let me see on my list. 35. So we'll put those under a bubble. And we're going to put them over here with their friends. So I have good jeans for the thumbnail. <laughs> All right. We have Madewell. That's a bolo. I don't know why I yelled. Like I'm pretty excited. 35. I like Madewell. And I cannot lie. Um. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of Madewell from my photos recently, which is cool for us because they sell. These are some jeans. I mean, seriously, these are some jeans. There's no brand on the button. There's no brand on any of the tags. They literally just say flare, size three. Um, these are generic. Look, talk about flare jeans. Oh my goodness. These are cute. Look at that. I bet you that's like a 25 inch, 12 and a half times two leg opening. These are super cute. If I do really, 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 these are completely generic, no name, right? If I do really good photos with these and like make them look kicky and hippie and cute and use good keywords like Bell bottom flare, boho. I bet I can get 25 to 30 bucks for these. Just because of the style and how cute they are. And if you sell yourself in photos and keywords, you'd be surprised at what sells for good money. There's something that just fell on the floor, but we'll get it later. These are juicy couture. These are kind of bread and y'all are gonna yell at me. You're yelling at the screen. Juicy Couture is poop. Hey, Star. Nah, I'll get 20 bucks for them. And they have an elastic band. So for floppies, like me, they're pretty comfortable to wear. Okay, we're going to pull this forward. No, we're not. Because I pull out a pair of cheeks. They're all going to pull on me. All right. Ah, uh, Zara again. Nothing too exciting to maternity uh, by attitude unknown. I'm going to call these bread and butter and call it a day without comping them. Of course, we'll comp them when we list them. They're probably going to end up being poop. That's okay. 
Hollister. You guys, I love Hollister. Mall brand. Lots of people think it's poop. Okay, more for me to sell. These I cannot keep in the store. They do not sell for a lot of money. I get about 18 to 20 for these. They always come in very small junior sizes, so they ship first class. Or they ship ground advantage. Man, I'm aging myself today. I still call it first class sometimes. Um, but they sell within like a week or two. I mean, they just sell fast. Hollister, for us, flies out the door. What else is in here? This is cute. Oh, these are really cute. Okay, this is a poop brand. See that brand? Don't source jeans by this brand. But do source jean shorts, booty shorts, and anything unique in those shorts by this brand. These are so cute. I think we can get probably like 15 plus 5 shipping. I'm not even kidding. Of course, we'll probably take the best offer and they'll end up selling for like 12. But still, start high. Aim high and let it fly. <laughs> Run offers. More Hollisters. More Hollisters. These are universal thread. These are poop, right? We're going to look them up. Because there's another universal. And I know a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago, I was doing an unboxing and I said something about a universal and called it poop. And the, one of the comments was, I think you're thinking of universal. Blah. There's two, and my brain doesn't want to. These are poop. Will I still list them for 10 plus 10 shipping? And probably take eight? Sugar. These are cool. They're universal thread. <laughs> All right, we'll just look up one pair of these and then do two ticks under whatever I decide they are. But these are cute. I don't care about the brand. Look at these. They're like bell bottom flare. They have no fly. Well, they have a fly, but it's a faux fly. It's a faux fly. There's no zipper. And they, oh my God, these are like Santa pants. They're so cute. Okay, I have to remember to do two checks for Universal. These are some jeans, some shorts. John Galt, California. I've never heard of these. If there's something very special, and I don't know about them, please stop screaming at the screen. We'll look them up together. Okay, we'll do it together. What are these? What is this? Uh, more unique one. I think we looked these up in the last one. You see how good my memory is? They're shorts. They're bread and butter. I mean, brand doesn't really matter when it comes to denim shorts, honestly. Okay, this is new to me as well. Blink. Put those here. My to look up pile is getting so ginormous. It's going to fall on me. Guess jeans. I still call these bread and butter, although they're kind of lower end bread and butter. Maybe even high end poop. You ever heard of high end poop? I used to sell the heck out of some guest jeans and do really well with them. But again, things do fall out of fashion, and well, we all know turds race to the bottom, so that's what happens. I've never heard of this. Lots of new to me brands today. I'm so excited. I love new to me brands. I don't care if I find out that it's a bad brand, then I've had some education on what not to thrift. If I find out it's a great brand, I can make more money. So it's a win win. These are Bursch guys. Y'all ever heard of that? We're going to look them up. And then, the ankle legging by Liverpool. So I got to look these up too. I remember Liverpool. Like, I feel like I may have had one or two pairs of those in my journey as a reseller, but I haven't seen them in a long time. We're going to see what's falling on the floor down here. We did these, and there's a belt. So this probably goes to the dress we pulled out. I'll figure it out. But for now, let's share my screen. And we'll go over to eBay together. And look all of these up. So the Bershkas. I feel like in my gut that these are like a good brand. But we'll see. 
Bershka Women's G. Well, from UK. Um, when they come from the UK, I'm always confused. Not confused, but I don't really know if I should say that these sell for, you know, 30 bucks all in and I can do 20 plus 10 shipping here in the United States or if they're just poop $8 jeans, but somebody would like them enough to pay that much from UK. You know what I'm saying? Let's look at what's actually listed. Okay, so we're looking at like 30. These are new tags. Okay. Well, let's narrow that down, folks. We're looking at 30, 30, 30, all in. I'm doing the all in price. Um, I'm going to call them bread and butter because the prices are all over the place. And then we'll figure it out when we go to work. If you think they should be bread and butter and raw, or they, if you think that they're money, let me know in the comments. I'm always open to learn and educate myself. If you're not learning, you're dead. You should always be learning something new. And nobody knows everything. Nobody. Slink. Slink. That's fun to say. These look like pretty good $30 jeans. I'm going to call them bread and butter. Again, if you think they should be classified as bolo, let me know. If I'm ever wrong, let me know. If you learn something, let me know that too. That's fun to know. Okay, these are Liverpool. These are cute. They're like pull on stretchy. Liverpool women's jeans. Mm, these are all over the place. Would people learn how to comp correctly, please? Please. If they do anything with your life, learn how to comp. Or price things. Or don't race to the bottom. I'm going to call these Liverpool bread and butter. Because I have a gut feeling about them. And I'm looking at all the all over the place and whatever. Okay, these are the John Galt. I feel like I'm supposed to know this brand. And I just don't. Don't find a lot in Pennsylvania, which is one of the reasons I love getting these startups. I get brands from all over the United States and learn stuff. There's a, well, those are new tags. 20 plus, so 30, 20, 20. I'm going to call them bread and butters. There we go. And if anyone knows, okay, this is universal thread. There's another universal brain fart i'm having but i remember that distinctly because i called i didn't comp them in that video when i was unboxing and i said oh these are poop or bread and butter and somebody commented you meant universe you were thinking of universal blah when these were universal blah now i'm thinking these are the bread and butters for sure so if you have any idea what the heck i'm talking about Let's just look for Universal and see what comes up. I'm getting all thread. Universal thread. Let's go to brand. I don't see anything. So if you have any idea of what the heck I'm talking about, which you probably don't because I don't even know, let me know. So I'm going to put the Universal thread, that one and the other one, putting two ticks down for them. Put them in the bread and butter. We've got Madewell, which I want to set aside for a thumbnail. Uh, here's the other universal threads. And then I have, oh, these are Cabela's. I actually pulled these out in the first video, and um, they fell off the pile <laughs> to be looked at. So we'll look at them now. Cabela's Men's Chain. I mean, like 20 to 30. I'm just going to call them bread and butter. I feel like they used to be worth more, but, you know, how many times in a video is she going to mention that until it gets through people's heads? Kirkland. 
I really, really feel like Kirkland is a food brand at Sam's Club. It's Costco. I kept saying Sam's Club. It's Costco. Do they have clothes? Does Costco have their own clothing brand? Do they? Let's find out. Is this from Costco? Really? Am I crazy? I mean, when I was a little kid, we had a price club, which is very similar to Costco and Sam's Club. And at the price club, you could get anything. I mean, that was how my dad bribed me to go there with him to the price club because they had a book section. And I always got to pick out one or two books if I was good, which I always was because I'd sit in the cart and read and I'd come home with more books. You heard it here first, folks. I've always been a nerd. Always. Always been a reader and a nerd. I'm going to call these bread and butter. Okay. If you beg to differ, let me know. Let me know. That's what the comment section is for. These are the ones that I... Oh. Thumbnail. Both girl on the letterpress. Growing stuff on the floor and we're not going to edit it out. Because this is a professional YouTube amateur. <laughs> All right, let's look up these bibs, and then I'm going to let you guys go, because you got things to do. We all got things to do. Time is money, money, money. All right, these, this brand, like I'm telling you, it's not really that great of a brand, but it looks like some people are listing these pretty high. I feel like I want to list mine for 30 plus 10 shipping, and that seems pretty high based on what's here. But based on what I'm seeing here and knowing how good my pictures are going to be and the keywords I'm going to use, I feel like starting at 30 with 10 shipping, I might end up taking an offer of 25 or 27, but that's still pretty good. Plus, if they sell to somewhere within zone four, then I can ship them in a priority mailer for like six, seven bucks and I charge 10. So I like these. I'm going to call these. I'm going to call them a money because I'm going to charge $40 all in. So to me, these are money. Just got to use the right keywords and get really good pictures. So real quick, before I let you go, I had eight money brands out of a 50-pound box. I had 39 bread and butter brands and only four poops four poops i had half the amount of poops as money brands that's a really good thread at box and lest we forget i didn't have anything that i can't sell everything that came out of these boxes was viable nothing was damaged stained ripped torn broken zippers so far we might discover something while taking pictures because i do kind of fly through these let's add all of this up so eight bread and butters plus 39 Let's add all of this up. We've got eight money monies plus 39 bread and butters plus four poops. It's a total of 51 pieces of clothing that I can sell. 51 pieces of clothing. And I say pieces of clothing because there were a couple shirts, there were a couple bibs and skirts, and a lot of shorts and some jeans. So my denim box had a variety and had 51 total pieces. I paid $59.99 with shipping all in. By the way, I paid $1.17 per piece. So the 39 bread and butters, some of those I labeled as bread and butter are things that I really wouldn't source out in the wild. And some are. If I did get all 39 pairs at my 99 cent day, then yes, I would have spent $39 on them and not $1.17 a pair. But the eight dollar, the eight pairs of money brands, I would never get on 99 cent day because they never last that long. So I would be paying between five and seven a pair. So I'm happy with a dollar seventeen a pair. I'm happy with that. Um, if I make, I usually make about ten dollar profit on my bread and butters, give or take. So that's three hundred and ninety dollars profit on the bread and butter. The poops will say probably like eight dollar profit. 
that's th another 32. And money brands are usually right around, um, I'm going to do the math real quick, $40. Really, we're just doing some fast, quick math here. Minus 15%, minus, we'll say 7 for shipping even. Comes out to 27. So we'll say 25 is probably my average profit on the money brands. Sometimes it's more. But just to get a general gist, that's 200 plus 390 plus 32. So my projected profits after cost of goods and shipping is $6.22. I paid $60. So I spent $60. It will probably take a couple of months to sell them all. And we'll make $562. For a volume-based business, that's not too shabby. There's all my scribbles. <laughs> so if you have any questions, comments, concerns about anything you saw in this video, uh, let me know. If you need help finding how to find the thread up boxes, they're the denim rescues. I can help you with that. You can ask about reselling jeans, anything. Correct me if I'm wrong on something. I don't care. Talk to me. Say hi. And don't forget to join our Facebook group. It's Fools and Hippos Reseller Pod. Don't forget to get your jeans guide for only $17 through the 19th of this year, 24. And go be productive. Go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. That was really fast. Thank you so, so much for watching. <laughs> Y'all are the best. Bye.